hurry, hurry. And that begins with the letter H. Someone's in a hurry. I wonder who it is. This is a very old story. Goodbye, goodbye, said Susie. Goodbye, dear mother. Goodbye, dear father. Have a lovely time. Susie's mother and Susie's father were going away for a day or two. So Miss Muggs, funny old Miss Muggs, came to stay. Old Miss Muggs came to stay for a day or two with Susie. Miss Muggs was nice, and Susie liked her. But she was always in a hurry. In the morning, Miss Muggs said, Hurry, hurry, get up, Susie, or you will be late for school. Hurry, brush your teeth. Hurry, eat your breakfast. Hurry! Put your hat and coat on, or you will be late for school. Miss Muggs did not wait for Susie, but off she went to school. She's in such a hurry, she leaves for school without Susie. She was in such a hurry, she did not see the milkman. Oh dear, what a mess. So she bumped into him, and look, he spilled the milk. There was milk on the milkman's hat. There was milk on the milkman's coat. There was milk on his shoes. But Miss Muggs was in such a hurry, she hardly stopped to say, excuse me, to the milkman. Don't be in such a hurry, or something worse may happen, said the milkman. Yes, said Susie. Don't be in such a hurry, Miss Muggs, or something worse may happen. And it did. It happened when Miss Muggs did not see a lady with three little cats and one big dog. Three cats, one big dog. What a mess. Oh gosh, they got all tangled. But Miss Muggs is in such a hurry, she hardly stopped to say, excuse me. Look out, said the lady. Don't be in such a hurry. Something worse may happen. And it did. It happened when Miss Muggs did not see a sign that said, Danger, men at work. Oh no! Down she went, poor Miss Muggs, down into the hole. Susie heard her calling, Hurry, hurry, get me out of here, or Susie will be late for school. Susie got the policeman who got a rope and pulled Miss Muggs out. What a mess. She had mud on her hat. She had mud on her coat. She had mud on her shoes. But she did not stop to take the mud off. She hardly stopped to say thank you to the policeman. Well, at least she said thank you. Look out, said the policeman. Don't be in such a hurry, or something worse may happen. And it did. Uh-oh. Bigger ahead. Miss Muggs was in such a hurry, she did not see a steam shovel. Up she went. Poor Miss Muggs, up in the air. What are you doing up there? Do you think you can fly up there in the sky? Said Susie. She kind of looks like a bird. Oh, no, said poor Miss Muggs. Put me down, put me down, or Susie will be late for school. So the man who ran the steam shovel put Miss Muggs down. Look out, he said. Don't be in such a hurry, or something worse may happen. And it did. It happened when Miss Muggs walked under a ladder. Look out, cried Susie. Look out, cried the policeman. But Miss Muggs was in too much of a hurry, so look up above. There 
she was with a pot of glue over her head, and the glue was running down all over her. Susie pulled. The policeman pulled. Oh gosh. The milkman pulled. The lady pulled. Then they all pulled together, and the pot came off with a gluey glub. Miss Muggs was a mess. She had glue on her hat. She had glue on her coat. She had glue on her shoes. She couldn't move. She couldn't walk. But she could say, "Hurry! Get me out of this!" Or Susie will be late for school. No," said Susie. "I will not get you out if you say hurry again." "Oh, I won't," said Miss Muggs. "I promise. I won't say hurry again if you get me out of this glue." So Susie scraped the glue off Miss Muggs' hat. She scraped the glue off Miss Muggs' coat. But when she got to her shoes, Miss Muggs said, "Hurry!" Susie stopped. "You promised not to say hurry, but you did. So now I will not take the glue off your shoes." Susie started off to school. "Oh no!" cried poor Miss Muggs. "Susie, Susie, get me out of this terrible glue! I promise." I promise I will never say hurry again. Come on," said the policeman. "We better get her out. She's in everybody's way. She's always in my way," said the milkman. Susie pulled. The policeman pulled. The milkman pulled. Even the lady's dog pulled, but they could not get Miss Muggs out of the glue. So. They had to get the steam shovel to come scoop her out. Miss Muggs almost said, <gasps> but then she said thank you instead. There was still a little glue on Miss Muggs' shoes, so she had to walk very, very slowly. One foot up, glub. One foot down, glub. Very. Very slowly, and the slower Miss Muggs walked, the better she seemed to like it. So when they got to school, and Susie said she'd take the glue off, Miss Muggs smiled and said, "I don't think I want you to, for I found out it's fun to go slowly, and a terrible bother to hurry." And then she walked home very, very slowly. So she discovered she liked not being in such a hurry all the time. Sometimes we need something like that to happen to make us realize that we should 